hello beautiful people welcome to my channel you guys this is your girl mommy so true you guys welcome back and for my new subscribers hello how are you big old hug to you because you probably need it if you're watching this video there's a reason why you're watching this video but this video came across whatever tablet phone or desktop you're sitting at because you need to hear this message today as a survivor as a thriver coming out of narcissistic abuse it's been one heck of a journey and if you resonate with that statement right there just take a moment to like this video if you're new here subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're not missing out on my weekly videos you guys i'm stopping in to tell you something that you really need to know something that's going to help you along in this journey i am living it i am witnessing it i'm experiencing it and i'm a i'm a testimony to all of you i am an example to all of us y'all know that my last video i said it's time to kill it and i said that for a reason because coming out of this you have to grieve this you have to get to the point where you treat them like they're dead you bury them and you try to move on but then there's grieving that comes with that and as you're grieving you have to forgive yourself and that's where i'm at for me it's really like a celebration now when i talk about the forgiveness of the self as a survivor and as a thriver the only way for you to be confident and heal is to forgive yourself because when you get to this point you look back and you start to see wow they plotted this this whole thing was planned from the beginning they've always known what the hell they were doing they've always had the same evil intention from the beginning and from the beginning you probably felt something was wrong, but you so fucking loving, so fucking caring, you hung on, you hung on, and you hung on some more. And it didn't do nothing in the end but leave you empty, leave you dry, leave you hopeless, leave you broke. <laughs> you know, leave you somewhere messed up. Having to pick up the pieces, having to refill that emptiness, having to figure out ways, where am I going? How am I going to get there? Leaving you lost because it was plotted it was planned <laughs> but now though that you survived it now that you're here now you got to forgive yourself for allowing them to do that to you so much the more they did it the longer we stayed the deeper it got so now you have to allow yourself to forgive yourself and understand that you were the prize and you just kept trying to help somebody tag along in your life because that's just who you are you given you given the most unworthy a chance because that's just who you are you see past their flaws you're not out here counting and marking people for their flaws and how messed up they are so you tried it you forgave you loved you gave it all and got nothing out of it and it hurt so much because every time you gave more and more and more, you knew you shouldn't have, but you was doing it anyway. And for me, that's where I'm at. Cause I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. I, I, to some extent you have to take accountability and say, okay, I, I did allow it to happen to me to some to some extent because we have an intuition that we ignore y'all i would never not take accountability for ignoring those red flags it ain't that much love in this world for you to have ignored red flags but you want to just be so loved and so accepted that you ignored it and that is truly the pain of walking away when you realize you really let somebody play you like that you really somebody <laughs> F you over like that. You really let somebody <laughs> trick your mind like that. You thought you was strong. You thought you was, you know, confident. How could you let somebody come into your world and destroy all of that? You did, though. You 
did. So for me, I have to mourn that part of it because I take full accountability. You have to. Because you should have known how big, bad, and beautiful you were. That's not up to them to know. It wasn't their job to value you. You should have known that. So now that you walked away, now that you, you know, you see that, you got to forgive yourself for allowing that to happen. Forgive yourself for allowing that to happen and just get on through with it. Cry it out. And, and let go of that old you. I've been talking about killing it. It's time to kill it. There are so many different components to that. And I'm going to let y'all know that throughout the next couple of weeks. Because this is so drastic in our healing process. It's time to kill the old us. The old us. That superly nice you. That ready to roll over for anybody you. That willing to give it all because of love you. It's time to kill it. It's time to learn how to be more patient. Take more time. Be less impulsive. Listen to your intuition. You know how you gonna do all of that? By letting go of that old you and, and that new you that now loves themselves and have compassion for themselves. You're gonna listen now. You're going to listen to the little messages that the universe tells you because they tell you messages all day. They warn us about people. It's just us. We choose to ignore. We like to take matters into our own hands and we like to chase what we want. So many of us, the, it was easy to be tricked because the narc made it look so good. That's what the devil does. The devil makes things look appeasing and appealing so you can go after it. Then once you get it and touch it, it turns into dust on your ass because it was never real. It was an illusion. And then here you are. You don't walk into the devil's nest chasing after what you thought was gold. It ain't nothing but dirt. And you feeling stupid. The only way to heal from that and bounce back from that is to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and learn how not to move. For those of us who've been dealing with this throughout our life this is easier said than done but I, I guarantee that the more you go through narcissistic pain the stronger you're gonna be because it's a jungle this journey is a, a journey through the wilderness you're going to go through the jungle but going through the jungle makes you a beast you just have to see things you got to start opening your eyes Pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. Or the jungle is going to eat you alive. You got to forgive yourself because you ain't do nothing wrong. <laughs> you ain't do nothing wrong. You got to forgive yourself because you got to realize, man, they set you up. They planned this. They plotted against you. You ain't do nothing. You ain't wake up and go into the streets and saying, I'm looking for a narcissist to abuse me. You didn't. You didn't. <laughs> okay. None of us. I don't think any of us, you know, was born into this world and wanted our parents to abuse us or wanted our siblings to hate us and mistreat us. So forgive yourself, not just for going back and taking them back and forgiving family members and, and trying to love them. But also forgive yourself because it's not your fault that they are so flawed. It's not your fault that they're so jacked up. It's not your fault that they noticed that you were so empathetic from the beginning that they plotted against you because they thought you would never leave. They thought you would never walk away. You'd never be done. Because according to them, you're not that type. You're so angelic and loving and shit. They thought you would never walk away. Some of you had the gangster up so hard you had to walk away from kids and all. That's how painful it is to be with these people or be around them 
So when you muster up the courage to finally leave and walk away, you have to kill it. Not just them, not just leaving physically. You gotta start detoxing your mind, getting rid of the thoughts, getting rid of the fact that you love them so much, man. F that love, F that love, cause it was one-sided. It was one-sided. Forgive yourself for overly loving somebody like that. Forgive yourself for falling for that trick. Forgive yourself because you didn't birth them. You didn't make that person that. You didn't, you didn't create that demon. That's a personal problem. <laughs> you just encountered them. When I talk about killing, killing it, burying them, moving on the attention is not to them it's to us y'all we're the ones trying to cleanse and heal and move on we could care less what they got going on how they gonna move on how they gonna thrive because we all know at this point we were all set up they set you up from the beginning but if you've made it this far make sure that you're properly cleansing by forgiving yourself Whatever that means for you, forgive yourself. You ain't do nothing wrong. You just love a little too hard. But now you know better. Now you know better. I am free. Free now that I can forgive myself for all the times that I kept trying to take on and carry on the baggage of everybody else. Everybody else who would never even talk about my baggage, let alone carry it. Forgiving myself for going above and beyond for everybody else. Forgiving myself for neglecting myself just like everybody else has. This is all part of the rest in peace process. It's time to forgive yourself on so many levels. That's how you take your power back. That's how you, you start rebuilding that self-esteem. Forgive yourself because they planned against you. But you made it. All you did wrong was love. Forgive yourself for that. <laughs> Forgive yourself for trying to love. Ain't that sad? No, nah, it really ain't sad. Because we're not talking about a regular human. We're not talking about a good person. Forgive yourself for trying to love this evil thing. This evil whatever. Forgive yourself. This jungle that we all have been going through, y'all, it has made us stronger. It's making us wiser and it's making us better. You guys, thank you for watching today's video. Keep on thriving, keep on going, and keep on healing. Continue to mourn, cry the pain out, take your time, have compassion for yourself, and continue to forgive yourself. Because it wasn't your fault. You were set up from the beginning, but it taught you so many lessons. Lessons you've ignored over and over, but some of us finally got it, and some of us are finally getting it. Let's keep thriving, people. We got this.